Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Heron 1 UAV reaches FOC. Canadian UAVs complete first Canadian BV loss utility inspections. And the Air Force conducts their first C-17 post-flight drone inspections. Hi, I'm Bree Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, the world's largest nonprofit organization devoted exclusively to advancing the unmanned systems and robotics community, serving more than 7,500 members from industry, government organizations, and academia. The Heron 1 UAV has attained full operational capability, allowing the Republic of Singapore Air Force squadrons to operate, maintain, and deploy the UAV. The UAV will be operated by a team that is compiled of UAV pilots, air imagery intelligence experts, and Air Force engineers. The Heron 1 UAV, which Singapore received in 2012, will provide Singapore's armed forces with stronger situational awareness and enhanced mission effectiveness on the battlefield. The UAV is capable of performing a plethora of missions thanks to a multi-mission sensor installed upon it. Capable of flying more than 24 hours and operating at a height of 20,000 feet, the UAV can provide color images in real time and also provide a bird's eye view to fighter jets and ground troops to help with better identification of multiple moving targets. And finally, the UAV has automated takeoff and landing capabilities. High-end exercises that have taken place locally and overseas have confirmed the UAV's advanced capabilities, such as its target acquisition and cooperative lasing capabilities, which will allow RSAF pilots to engage targets better. Heron 1 will replace the Searcher-class UAV, which has been in service since 1994. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Terra Drone Corporation has launched their new Terra Powerlifter UAV series, benefiting Australia's agriculture, construction, and resource sectors. Offering up to two hours continuous flight time and capable of carrying a heavy payload of up to 10 kilos, the UAV is fully integrated with the Regal LiDAR laser management systems to accomplish 3D mapping. An agreement between SenseFly and analytics provider MicaSense will enable SenseFly and its distribution partners to offer MicaSense's Atlas Cloud processing platform alongside EB drones. By making MicaSense's Atlas available with SenseFly's EB drone platforms compatible with Paris multispectral Sequoia camera, the companies provide customers with solutions that make collecting and analyzing high resolution aerial data a simple, efficient process. Frustrum has announced the winner of its Generate Quadcopter Challenge, a GrabCAD challenge for topology optimization. Hosted on the GrabCAD community platform, the challenge invited participants to use Frustrum's cloud-based generative design and topology optimization software Generate to optimize the design of a lightweight 3D printed quadcopter. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Regular beyond visual line of sight operations saw significant advancement recently as Canadian UAVs and Lockheed Martin CDL systems completed their first BV loss pipeline, well site, and power line inspections using the Transport Canada compliant Lockheed Martin Indago 2 at the foremost testing range. At their UAV testing facility in Foremost, Alberta, Canadian UAV successfully performed multiple BV loss operations to inspect several pipelines, wellheads, and power lines. This demonstration leverages Canadian UAV's best-of-breed solutions to provide BV loss operations for its customers while maintaining strict manned aviation safety best practices. Quote, it's a milestone our team has been working towards for years, said Sean Greenwood, president of Canadian UAVs. Going BV loss has technically been solved for some time with regards to powerful communications links and autopilot hardware. Canadian UAVs has been focused on creating an end-to-end -end paradigm in coordination with Transport Canada to conduct these operations outside of restricted military airspace where our customers have a substantial regulatory and logistical need to acquire actionable data. 
Due to our in-house combined military and commercial, manned and unmanned aviation backgrounds, the most advanced Lockheed Martin unmanned aircraft systems, and a constant drive to evolve our aerial solutions, we have been able to demonstrate today the most logical operating structure for BV loss on the market. The 412th Test Wings Emerging Technologies Combined Test Force used a quadcopter to conduct a maintenance inspection of the exterior of a C-17 Glowmaster III. The C-17 was on loan from Joint Base lewis McCord and was the first time they flew a small UAS on the flight line and the second time the CTF has used a small UAS in a new application. The winds remain manageable to allow the test team to conduct three sorties with the quadcopter, which was fitted with a video camera. Live video was assessed by the team that included maintainers to determine if the quality was adequate for routine inspections. The video recorded from the quadcopter's camera will be analyzed to see if it is clear enough to see smaller details of the cargo plane's exterior, such as structural abnormalities, rivets, and cracks. Major Dan Riley, the CTF director, said the test was so successful that the maintainers used the data to sign off their pre-flight external inspection, a first for the Air Force. Inspections that would normally take 45 minutes to an hour could be done in just a few minutes with a quadcopter if it's successful. Maintainers would also not need a lift to inspect a C-17's tail. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.